our our day in day out year after year observation is that yeah a lot happens a grain of sand at a time and a trickle yeah. of water at a time but how is it that a uniform these strict uniformitarians cannot concede that it, that sometimes there are cataclysmic events i mean they they cite cataclysm for the extinction of dinosaurs over 60 million years ago oh yeah so why why is it not also yeah. Um, conceivable that twelve thousand eight hundred years ago there was a great cataclysm that um, yeah that changed life on Earth because maybe, they would have found it by now. It's kind of recursive. It yeah. didn't happen because we've been studying these time periods our entire careers and my you know major professor's career going back another forty years or so that we couldn't have missed something so big. I mean, to your point you though, you get anything. up and if you have blinders on, you can miss anything. That's right. Well, you get up in an aircraft, for example, which hasn't been around for centuries, and you're taking optical images of the East Coast. And I've seen these pictures. I mean, the, the pictures are remarkable of uh, these impactor sites, or I don't know if I should appropriately call them impactor sites, but there are these elliptical uh, indentations all across uh, the, the Carolinas and all the way up to the Northeast. And as you're saying, they all appear to uh, fall along a similar azimuth. Uh, or, or, yeah, I mean, it's really a stunning image. Now, you couldn't have seen that, I'm guessing, standing on a hilltop in North Carolina. You could get a sense for a few of them at a time as a, as a man on the ground, but you couldn't get the sense that we now can either from the sky or from space. I mean, we've You're got so exactly much. You're exactly right, Matt. They are so subtle that people spend their entire lives around Carolina Bays and just know them as the local wet hole. And they're yeah, all, I mean, they all have a, a, a very distinct and very bright colored sand rim, brilliant white sand in varying what that? degrees around that. It was burrowing was whales? Out of it. Yeah, burrowing whales, exactly. And back to what the kind of the, you know, accepted mainstream uh, landing point for what they believe it was wind and waves that somehow catabatic winds from the glaciers came down during three periods. Some of them separated, uh, maybe it's four periods, separated by uh, as much as 10,000 years. Came, formed bays, they stopped forming, the wind came back, formed them again. They have no explanation, and they'll even tell you this, for how the original depressions formed. But remember, this is the coastal North Atlantic coastal plain, so it's it's very shallow. The groundwater uh, table is very shallow, but somehow there was a depression, and the water-filled depression cast waves up against the sand on the sides, and it enlarged and elongated itself and just blew itself into a perfect hole in the ground. And you can find places around the world where you do have wind-formed lakes, but they're nowhere near as perfect as these. How, how big are these bays? Oh, from 400 feet to 10 or 11 miles, and everything in between. Yeah, and people will live on them. Highways in North Carolina and, and country, country roads will actually follow the rim because they didn't want to, build and have to go through the wetlands and that that was more difficult you know um corridor to build the road in or maybe historically that wasn't the footpath so you'll find that roads arc around the edge of them and that the churches will be up there because the cemeteries can um are better placed in the sand rim right so human organization on the coastal plain was somewhat influenced but it's exactly like you're saying they didn't know that they were absolute perfect ellipses. And you know what an ellipse is, and this is all credit to a fellow named Antonio Zamora, who um, has a, a very popular YouTube YouTube channel on the bays, for the bays. <laughs> you know, it's not popular from a global subject sense, but, but, but in this little slice of the world, Antonio is a, a big voice. And he published a paper in geology uh, the Journal of Geology, uh, gosh, I guess it's getting on 10 years ago. And, and he, he added a lot to the discussion. And I would say it's kind of a predominant uh, catastrophist interpretation of them. And that is that there was an impact somewhere around Saginaw, Michigan, because if you follow their 
azimuth lines all the way back and then account for the Coriolis effect, isn't that the way you say it? Where if you cast something into the air, the earth is also turning. So you got to do some math there. But if, if you follow all that back, it, it, it goes to Saginaw Bay, which is kind of an interesting anomalous feature, you know, that makes up the thumb of Michigan. Right. So that's Saginaw Bay. And the idea would been <clears throat> would have been and it's not a crater, but if something slammed into the ice sheet, then that would have been a mile or two thick. If you throw something into ice, you're going to shatter the ice before you make a hole or a typical hole. You're not going to make the same hole you would have made if there is no ice. So it might be that Saginaw Bay is kind of a relic feature of that impact on the ice, but it would have cast tremendous chunks of ice into the lower atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. And they would have fallen across that arc. And excuse me, I should have mentioned, and I was part of the kind of the, at least the, uh, aerial discovery of this using LIDAR. But if you go into Kansas and Nebraska, there's a whole nother bay field that points back to Saginaw Bay as well. So it goes from New Jersey and Long Island all the way down to Georgia, kind of parts and then picks back up. Um, and they look identical to the ones in the Carolinas. So there, the same process was underway there. My conclusion, you know, personally, tentative conclusion is I can't be sh sure of the formation mechanism, but they all happened at the same time. Whatever happened, happened at the same time in an instant.